My dad told me that back in the 60s, the country was caught up in the space race. Engineers from every field banded together to put a man on the moon. Today, we have a new global mission to cut greenhouse gas emissions and our dependence on fossil fuels. For the next three years, 17 universities from across the US and Canada are dedicating themselves to this challenge. Here's how it works. To keep a level playing field, General Motors is donating identical crossover SUVs to all 17 schools. Each school will also have access to top GM engineering and technical mentors, as well as specialized components and parts from GM and other sponsors. Teams will have the opportunity to use state-of-the-art testing facilities like the ones here at GM's Milford Proving Grounds to test and refine their vehicles. With these resources, teams will build some of the latest advanced technology vehicles, such as full-function electric, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and fuel cell hybrid vehicles. That's where I come in. I work for the U.S. Department of Energy at Argonne National Laboratory, where some of the nation's top scientists and engineers are working to solve the nation's energy problems. Our team of engineers will be mentoring, guiding, and evaluating student teams throughout the three-year competition, and we'll keep you updated on the results.